the favorite place I'd like to go back to, um, I think Japan, because um, even though I spent a good three weeks traveling throughout Japan extensively, there was so much, uh, so much to offer. I mean, in terms of the culture, the food, the places to visit, history, um, sites, um, you know, spiritual stuff. It was so unbelievably amazing that I knew that I'm going to be going back, not once, many times, because every time you go, I'm sure I'm going to be discovering new things, especially in Tokyo. So yeah, for me, I think um, it would be Europe because I think the weather uh, kind of is still pretty pleasant for us Indians. And um, I mean, um, yeah, their summer is, is like really nice for us. Everybody's out there partying and pubs are busy, streets are busy, streets are crowded. And um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So I would say Europe, I mean, probably the Scandinavian countries, um, Sweden and uh, Norway, I mean, there's such beautiful places that um, summertime makes it even better. And of course, the days are way longer, so you can um, be out till 10 p.m., 11 p.m., depending on where you are at. Would be Lofoten Islands, uh, again in Norway. Uh, I was there by myself. I had hired a car. I was there for seven days. So it's a set of thousands of islands. Um, uh, Apergeos is what they are called. So they are just there's this one highway E26 that connects them all and uh, you can you can take off-road tracks and you know you can go into a water body and, and and there's a lot that you know you can explore and that has yet to be explored by a lot of people and you see a lot of caravans you see people camping um, having having a blast there um, so yeah Lofoten Islands I think has been a great memory and, and again I was there at the midnight sun so basically there was no night I was out and about since morning <laughs> Till, till late at night and the sun was, I mean, sun was bright and shining and we had to like, uh, we had blinders in the room, so, you know, white curtains that would just make the room completely dark uh, before we would sleep. So, so yeah, it was quite an experience. Well, if it would, if it's something that I have to say, then I would, uh, I would probably choose uh, paragliding because I know, I know of people who had accidents uh, uh, doing that. And it's kind of scary, you know, just uh, thinking about hanging on to something, <laughs> just running and jumping off uh, a cliff. It's it's kind of scary. Though, yeah, I mean, if something I would want to avoid and uh, be scared of, it would be paragliding or, uh, yeah. I loved my bungee jumping experience, which I did in Thailand. And um, I've been wanting to do skydiving for the longest time. It's something, uh, I mean, every time it was about to happen, Something went wrong or brace shut or something, so I, I didn't manage to do it. But it's definitely on my list and I'm sure I'll be uh, doing it soon. Um, staying away from deep fried food, uh, donuts and like uh, fatty things. But uh, but yeah, you're on holidays, so I guess <laughs> it's all good. I mean, especially if it's, if it's a local cuisine and it's a new thing that you want to try. I mean, yeah, but you can definitely avoid the donuts and the french fries. Like I said, everything, I mean, when I'm traveling, I want to travel for food. I want to try new things. So, uh, I think the rule would be to try everything new and uh, not uh, miss out on, on specialities uh, of a local uh, uh, city or a country. I mean, um, that's what, I mean, that's what makes your trip even more memorable. You know, it's so cool. Well, it's, it's me. I basically make a broad structure of the countries that I want to visit, the cities I want to uh, go, I mean the top cities, uh, all based on the geography of the place, I mean how the landscape is, how much, uh, I mean um, the places which are, which are good for photography, I mean because that's what I, I thrive on and I, I love taking uh, beautiful pictures of, of beautiful places and people so um, so yeah I mean I plan it and then of course once I'm there then it's all uh, impromptu and, and spontaneous you know I would I would figure out the number of days I want to spend in a particular city once I arrive there and um, before I go to the next city I, that's when I start booking my uh, hotel or, or uh, you know hostel or or who if, if I know somebody I'm gonna meet so I'm gonna probably end up going and staying at their place so, 
firstly the landscape i mean um, like i said i mean if it's the more remote it is the more untouched it is um, it's it's a place that i'll most likely uh, visit and uh, like to go i mean probably things places which are off the regular touristy uh, hot spots uh, so so yeah uh, but uh, another thing that attracts me most is uh, if i know somebody in that city or that country you know so i if i if supposing i know somebody in uh, kanazawa in japan i would make sure that i go there so that i can spend time with that person and see uh, local sites through them experience local uh, things with them and um, you know make memories that would be very different from a regular touristy experience where um, i go to a hotel check in and do the regular sightseeing spots um, with the help of the hotel concierge so so yeah going and meeting locals is great you know it's always i think it's 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 number one for me to kind of select a place well it all depends on my mood when i'm traveling and 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 the last place i visited and also the weather time of the year um yeah i mean it's it it's it's subjective but but yeah i'm fond of both i mean i've been to mountainous uh, terrains and i've been to a lot of beaches and and uh, uh, sea uh, side cities so 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 yeah, it depends well i don't luckily there haven't been any major disaster uh, in my travel uh, uh, plans but um, uh, there was a time where uh, i mean i missed my flight from bangkok to um, copenhagen uh, because i overslept it was a early morning flight and i woke, i actually woke up after the flight had left so it just basically resulted in me going to the airport and waiting pretty much the entire day and by the time i reached uh my destination i had i had lost the complete day so that was annoying but yeah i mean it i wouldn't say it was travel gone bad i think that's part and parcel of uh, travel experiences and um, part of your uh, trip so so yeah thank you so much for listening